You. What's going on, y'all? This is your boy, Master Teacher, man. And I'm back again for another episode. You guys got to be patient with me, man. Like, for the past two months, I've been traveling, going somewhere every two weeks. So, I just came back from Poland. Um, and then next week, I'm actually going to Germany. So, there's a video. I'm going to do a video on Germany as well. But we're going to talk about Poland today. And we're going to talk about the subject in this video how do polish women treat black men i've gotten a lot of criticism on taking my time with these videos getting my point across but i'm going to build my case again today okay and i have receipts that show uh exactly how polish women treat black men okay but before we get into that real quick if you guys didn't know I'm a financial advisor, okay? I help people manage money. I have an Excel product for budgeting. I help with investing, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, real estate, X, Y, Z, okay? Um, I've, built, I've built a very nice net worth over 10 years or so, um, and I'm here to help, all right? So just shoot me an email if you have any questions about uh, investing. I'm still doing the essay uh, for people. Uh, if you send me a thousand word essay on your 10 year financial plan, I will send you a free book. OK. Now, all I ask you to do is when you do send it to me that you spell check that motherfucker. OK, do not send me no garbage. All right. Preferably APA MLA format. Nice and neat in Microsoft Word. That will do the trick. Okay, I've sent several books out already. I, my email is full. I'm gonna work through those those um those the the remainder of the emails as they coming in. So just be patient with me. I will send those books out to you for free. Okay. So let's talk about Poland. All right. So I've never been to Poland before before this trip. All right, and uh, my brother plays professional basketball in Poland. So he's only been there um about a month and a half. So when I caught wind that he was gonna be that he was moving out there to play professional basketball, I, I automatic I booked my ticket right away. I was like, I gotta see what's going on out there. Okay. So to explain to you guys how Polish women treat black black men, I'm going to flesh out and explain to you I'm just going to go through chronological order and show pictures and video as I'm explaining on what's going on in Poland. OK, um, just right off the bat, I'm just going to let you guys know that Polish women are checking extremely hard for black dudes. OK, while I was there, literally, I seen um, uh, less than seven black people the whole the whole trip. And that was including me and my brother. And one dude that played on his team, on his basketball team. So they're checking really hard. I'm going to explain how they are while I was there, um, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go into depth. Okay. So real quick, uh, I'm just going to say this right up front. Um, before I went to Poland, I got a lot of. Um, I talked to a lot of people and they're like, oh, you know, don't go to Poland, blah, blah, blah. People are racist there. You know, they don't like black people, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, X, Y, Z. So when I get there, my guard is up. All right. And I'm not really sure what's going on, you know, trying to figure things out. And I'm telling you guys firsthand, this is my brother's been there a month and a half and I was there only four days. I did not encounter any type of racism while I was there. Maybe it was just where I was at. My brother stays in Kautowice, Cow which is about uh, 40 miles west of Krakow. Okay. And maybe it was just us, but we didn't really encounter any racism, you know, to the, to the best of my knowledge. Um, so I highly recommend you guys go to Poland as soon as possible. So let's go, let's go through the chronological order here. So I get to, I fly into Katowice and my brother comes, picks me up from the airport and, uh, 
you know, he's a, he's ten years younger than me, about ten years younger than me, and 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 ironically, like when as I was getting older, he was art. I was already out the door as he was getting older, and I was already like traveling the world, and I was never really home. So me and my brother were close, but we're not as close as my other brother, which we're a year and a half apart. So me and Trey, that's his name, we've never went to the club together or anything like that, like picked up girls together, none of that stuff. So it is kind of new to me. So since Trey been in Poland longer than me, um, I kind of took the back seat and let him work and just watch how he how he maneuvered. Okay, so that's where this 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 source material is going to derive from. So he picks me up from the airport. He takes me out to eat. We go to this nice little sushi restaurant. Um, I forgot the name of the restaurant, but we went there. It's in downtown Catawis. Uh, very delicious. Uh, not the best sushi I had in the world. And uh, you know, after that. Uh, my brother had to do a, uh, a signing, like a autograph signing for the team, you know? So I'm just sitting here watching like all these Polish people just coming up to him. Cause he's a star basketball player for the team. And, uh, you know, all the people just rushing him, trying to get signatures and all that stuff like that. They just love him out there. They love Trey. So I was like, okay, this is dope. You know, they, they show him, they showing him a lot of love out there. You know, this is pretty good. And, uh, you know, I was like, damn. Okay. So at night, I'm skipping through it. All right. So at night, so my brother hits me up or he's telling me, he's like, look, man, uh, there's this girl on Tinder, uh, that I, um, that I met and she really, really wants to meet me. And, um, she wants to meet at this club. So if you guys ever go to Poland, to Katowice, there's a club called uh, Bavado, Baravado. Okay, you guys can see the. I took a picture of, or a video of the uh, of the the sign of the of the club. So this club is pretty dope, actually. It's a uh, you go. It's it's like it's down like in the basement. Uh, there's a lot of space in there. I didn't feel too cramped. I don't really like going to cramped clubs, you know. So we're walking down in the basement and we pay and my brother sees the girl before I do or before she sees before she sees us. OK, and these are two Polish chicks and the Polish chick uh, saw Trey and her eyes literally just lit up. OK, so the, the one that that Trey met was meeting on Tinder. She was pretty cute. She wasn't like super, super fine. I don't really have any video footage of her, but uh she was really, she was all right. And then her friend was not so great. And plus she didn't speak any English. So there was no connection there. And we go in and she's like all over Trey, like not like, like crazy because she knows inside the club, me and my brother, we're the only black dudes in there. And like, we are getting like looks from the females in there. And it wasn't looks like, oh, you know, why are you in my country type deal? Like we were getting like double takes, like, oh shit, who are these two dudes? We never seen them before. They were like, we getting a lot of stares in there. So she was like all over Trey. And uh, we decided we was gonna get some drinks. And this, and this, this I'm gonna keep going in the story, okay? So she offers to buy us some drinks. And this is the first instance where we kind of, we, we kind of had like a little dust up in the club with some guys. I'm not going to immediately say it was racism, but it was just very odd, okay? So the girl offers to buy us a drink, and I'm not going to say no, okay? If a, if a female is like, hey, let's buy some drinks, I am not going to say no or try to be like a gentleman, like, oh, don't worry about it. I'll get the drink. Fuck that. Okay, if you asking if I want a drink, I'm going to say yes, okay? And I'm going to order the most expensive motherfucking drink on the menu. That's just how I roll. So I ordered a mojito, okay? Nice little mojito. So I ordered this mojito, and uh, I get the drink, and I set it down. And some, like, I would say, like, 30 seconds later, some guy that was next to us grabbed my drink and, like, took it as if it was his, okay? And I'm looking at him all weird and stuff, and... My brother just blew up on this dude like, what the fuck you doing trying to take our drinks and stuff like that? How about I take your drink? So Trey took his drinks 
And I'm like, Trey, calm down. All right, relax. Um, and then the freaking uh, Polish chick cussed the dude out. Uh, and then after they had like a little confrontation, he apologized, and it, it, it seemed like his 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 speech was a little slurred. So he apologized to me. He's like, "I'm sorry," blah blah blah. And then he he bought me two shots of uh of tequila. So I I drank the mojito, and then I took those two shots. And I'm like, all right, Trey, let's move on to somewhere else in the club. So we move on to the in, in the club. And meanwhile, Trey is like plotting on trying to get rid of these chicks. Okay. And uh, we ended up going to another part of the uh, club. And there is some footage here. Not much because it's kind of dark in there. We ended up going to another part of the club. And this chick is like all over Trey. And like these girls, like all these girls are just looking at us like, fuck, we're trying to get rid of these chicks. Like, but she would not leave us alone. Like we were trying to like, hey, let's walk. We're going to go walk around. Like they were just following us around the club. And I was like, fuck, we can't get out. of We can't get out of this. So the chick that Trey picked, she would have been a good potential to hang out with, but she was just a little too aggressive, a little too aggressive, a little too thirsty, and it just turned Trey off. And like I said, her friend was just not really all that. So um, we hung out. We ended up hanging out with them, and then we just called it a night. Okay. So the second day, uh, Trey hits me up because he he put me in a hotel at the Marriott downtown Marriott. So uh, he, you know, looking out for his big bro. And um, he tells me, he's like, listen, man, uh, there's this chick out in Krakow that uh, I want to, we're going to go out to Krakow, we're going to go to the mall, and she's going to come pick me up, or we're going to go pick her up from the mall, and then, this is a Saturday, we're going to go pick her up from the mall, and then she's going to come back to my place, and... uh, uh, she's going to hang out for the weekend and then she's going to go to my game on Sunday. I was like, all right, whatever. And he was like, look, man, she has a friend, uh, that, you know, is down. However, she's in Greece right now. So it's just going to be her. You cool with that? I'm like, all right, Trey, I'll just, I'm just curious, man. I just want to see how these, these Polish girls treat black dude. So we end up picking this chick up and She's beautiful, and you're gonna see footage. You're gonna see footage of her. So on Sunday, it was gonna be a Polish holiday. So they, they were celebrating their 100 hundredth uh, year anniversary of independence from World War One, and everything was gonna be closed. So this chick was like, "Oh, I'm I, I gotta cook for you guys." And uh, we ended up going to the shopping mall, and she bought a or my brother bought a bunch of stuff, but she picked it out. And uh, we went and, um, you know, he paid for it or whatever. And we got some groceries. And then uh, Trey was telling her, like, okay, you can drive back. So she drove she drove his car with me and him in there from uh, Krakow back to Catalyst. So as we're on the road, she notices that Trey's uh, tire pressure is low. And I'm like, okay. Uh, she's like, I'm going to pull over here and I'm going to put some more air in the tires. So she pulls up to the gas station. She gets out and she starts putting air in the tire. And I'm like, you know, thinking in my back of my head, Trey is still sitting in the car, by the way. <laughs> and uh, this chick is putting air in the tire. I get out because Trey, he's a little ruthless. I'm, I'm not as ruthless as him. Like, you know, as a gentleman, you would, you would think that, you know, I would, you the per, the male would get out of the car and it's his car and fill up the uh, the air, the tires. You know what I mean? But she was totally cool with, with filling the air. I got out and helped her because I felt bad. But Trey just sitting in the car was on his phone. I was like, damn, OK, you just a boss like that. But whatever. So we get back to his place and uh, actually, you know what? I'm going be back up. After that, they drop me back to the hotel. And then in the morning, um, he he sends an Uber over to come pick me up. And uh, 
this chick, when I get in there, she's over here cooking breakfast for Trey. So keep in mind that Trey, when, when I first went to Trey's apartment, his apartment was clean, but it wasn't too clean. You know what I mean? So I get there Sunday morning and his his apartment is just spick and span. I'm like, in the back of my head, I'm like, okay, she must have cleaned up because I know damn well Trey didn't clean up. So she cleaned up his apartment and she starts cooking breakfast while this dude's playing Call of Duty. Okay. So she's cooking breakfast and, uh, you know, hanging out with us and whatnot. And the breakfast is actually pretty good. And then we end up going to Trey's game. And then when we got back, she cooked some spaghetti and some pasta with uh, with um, with chicken in it. So in the back of my head, I'm thinking, okay, all right, Trey. So this chick is driving you around. She's putting air in your tires. She cooked three meals, breakfast, uh, lunch, and dinner. Like, how long you been knowing this chick, Trey? Like, you just got here a month and a half ago. Um, you know, how long y'all been dating? Two fucking weeks. They've been dating for two weeks, and she was already doing all this stuff. Trace, this is the second time Trey seen her. So the first time he met her, you know, they hit it off really good. And the second time, and she's just doing all this nice stuff for Trey. I'm like, damn, Trey, you got it made over here. So the moral of the story is uh, Polish chicks are checking hard for brothers. And I already knew this before I went to Poland because um, I actually dated two Polish chicks out here in England. So I already knew what it was about. But I was kind of blown away by um, by the attention. Uh, and, you know, this chick was already trying to position herself to be wifey pretty much. Very, very early. Two weeks in. So that these are the receipts that goes to show you that Polish women are seriously checking for brothers out there. I'm telling you that if you go to Poland, you will be an instant commodity. If you clean up very well, you dress nice, you're very, um, um, you know, uh, intelligent speaking and just, you know, have an engaging in good conversation, you're going to get out of play. You're automatically going to be looked at differently because there's not many black people there. Um, and I've get, if you spark a conversation with people, they would just, they they're, they would just light up. Polish people are extremely nice. The country is beautiful. Um, I, I don't really have anything negative to say about Poland. Um, the only thing that happened was that little dust up in the club, but that can happen anywhere. Um, they say there's racism in Poland, but it's mostly the the guys that I that I've heard. The guys are racist if you know if they see you picking up on the women. So so they say. Uh, obviously, they don't really encounter many brothers. Um, so you just have to take that in consideration. I highly, 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 highly recommend you go to Poland as soon as possible. If you're in Europe and you don't go to Poland, you're dead wrong. Go to Krakow, okay, or go to Cowardice. Cal Okay, and just go there and just and just see for yourself. If you don't believe me, I mean, if you don't believe these receipts, book you a ticket and uh, see for yourself. All right, um, I will be doing a video with Solo. We're gonna do a deep dive on Poland, and um, like I said, if you guys have any questions about finance, budgeting, travel, I will respond to a hundred percent of my emails. Okay. Be looking out for the, the Germany video as well. I will try to get more footage versus this video. Uh, the weather wasn't that great, and I was really focused on spending time with my brother. So, uh, yeah. All right, y'all. I'm out. Peace.